We're going to show how to make a second chance ladder, also known as reboarding ladder, which is used on lobster boats or other boats to get back into the boat after you have fallen over or perhaps jumped off to go swimming. First I'm going to show how to make the initial um, loop. After making the loop like this, I turn it around and reach for the double strand. Then I pull the double strand back through the single loop. And that gives us a loop if the, if the rope behaves. that would go on a stern cleat on the boat. And here's what it looks like when you're done. Okay, now I'm going to put this on a chair this time, but anything that will be able to uh, give you a chance to pull against uh, a stationary object. I should say that I began this by finding the middle of the rope. This rope is six and a half fathoms long, which is 39 feet, there being six fathoms, six feet in a fathom. So having made the loop, with the loop on each end, and having put through the right hand strand up through the right hand loop, I now begin to wrap using the right hand strand. You don't want to make it too tight because in the end you want to be able to tighten this step by pulling on rope at each end. If you make it too tight, you are not able to, uh, to tighten the loops. The number of turns de depends a little bit on how large the boot or shoe is that's going to be going on this step. But most of the time, we make this to be 13 uh, turns. I have done 15 and I have done 17, but 13 works out pretty nicely. You want to keep checking your work to make sure that it's going to be a flat step as much as possible. When you're first starting out, you may find that your steps are not flat and one side would be higher than the other. But with practice, uh, your, their steps will be nice and, and square. So let's see how many we have. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We need two more turns and the thirteenth th turn is going to go down the loop. That's two. I believe this is the thirteenth. Let's count. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and this is the thirteenth. So with that thirteenth one, I'm going to take the end of the rope and go down our free loop. So basically you go up the right hand loop and down the left hand loop. Okay, now you can tighten this by pulling on the right hand free strand and that tightens this loop. And then pulling on the left hand strand to tighten the right loop. And now you end up with a pretty square step. Now you repeat this process starting again from the left, making the loop. The distance between the first step and the next step 
is a distance that should be about halfway between the floor and the knee of the person who's going to be using this. So that's something in excess of 12 inches, usually. 12, 14, 16 inches. If you're a very tall person, you can make the distance longer. So now you want to square it up nicely. Make sure it's going to make a nice straight step. And again, begin to wrap. And again, we're going to go for 12 turns, and the 13th turn goes down the left hand loop. halfway through so I want to check if this is going to be square so we're using 3 8 inch in diameter rope which is a nylon three strand rope you can use whatever rope is available, um, but this is easy to work with and it's easy on your hands. That's 12, and now as I come around for the 13th time, I can go down the loop. If your turns are a little messy, you can just adjust them a little bit, and then you get it full tight on each end. And there's our second step. First one's a little crooked, second one is a little better. So here's our finished product with four rungs. The first rung is a little bit crooked, but um, you can still use it or you could take it out and redo it. Um, but don't wait till you get four of them done to take it out. So now I'm gonna step in closer so that we can change our angle here on the camera. And we're left with two um, strands, the two strands of rope, and they're almost the same length. Here, you can either um, splice them together and put a toggle in well, put a toggle in first and then splice it. Or you can put a toggle in and just tie it off with whatever no, uh, knot you like in the bottom. This is a square knot, obviously. So this is, this is the bottom of the ladder and, and this will be in the water when you first um, start to climb up. The important thing is that you wanna climb on a step, not on this bottom loop. That will not hold your weight. So here we have all four steps. So this, this loop at the top, this double loop at the top, will go over a cleat on the boat. Usually it'll be a cleat toward the stern of the boat. And then you can uh, loop up or hold up the remaining part of the rope with a very light string that you could pull on should you be in the water and the rope will just fall down into the water and let you come back up. Good luck with your rope ladder, and I hope you can uh, use it if you fall in or if you just want to go swimming. <laughs>